Yo, I need you guys to want to be praised again. I think there's very litter, li litter? <laughs> little to nearly zero chance that we get Mega on uh, Kabuterimon here. Would not count on it in the slightest. However, I do believe it possible that we can definitely get Saber Dramon to ultimate. Also, it'll be really good to get, uh, oh dang it. I was short like eight. I have to time this or it's not going to give me the thing. God, oh, let's go. Horn Buster. Get destroyed. But, uh, the more things we get on the Megas that uh, Kabuterimon can become now, it'll carry over whenever another Digimon can become it. So it's still... Ooh, we got medicine from that. It is still very worth, very worth trying to get uh, okay. requirements unlocked on Mega Kabuterimon just so that we can see for the future. Kentorismon's Digivolution info. Okay. No, Lady Devamon's info does not help me at all right now. I mean, I just got done explaining why that'll help me in the future. But right now, I need to know how to Digivolve you into Mega Dramon, other than HP and MP, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get you to either of those requirements in time. All right, Garurumon, let's let's just get it done, brother. Let's just do this. Right. Press that way too early. Don't talk to me. Let's go. Can't touch this. It's working. Oh, I actually timed that right. I was about to say I clicked that at the worst time, but no, I did not. Whoops. That's what I want. I'll show you the true power of a black Digimon. Black Garurumon, you're nothing to black Bergeramon. Yo, Lone Wolf, what's up, brother? How you doing? Oh my goodness, it chewed that. I actually stopped looking at the screen because I figured it would just die from getting hit by that. Well, too late to guard that. I didn't do that much anyway. That did a lot, though. Please learn that move. Help. Hey, guess what we need to start doing, chat? That's right. We need to start buying more HP discs. I think I accidentally took off his guard when I was trying to make him guard. Help. Please just, sir, please just die. Guarding. Still guarding. I'm very scared right now. Not gonna lie, I'm very afraid. What's your special? Max stamina, gradual return to normal? Yeah, do that. I, dude, I need, I need you to die. Sir. Sir, please. Throw, 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 throw! No! I'm upset. Very upset. Please die. Like, please die, though? Okay, thank you. That sucked. Look at all those stat gains on Sabredramon, though. No wonder that thing was such a problem. Oh, we learned Spin Attack. Let's go. And I Tamer leveled up. And my, my Digimon is dying. So many events happening. Do I have a Band-Aid on me? I do, don't I? Yep. We're going to start running out of these. All right. That's fine. I forgot to go give the royal digi jelly to that thing again. Dang it. All right, all's fine. Uh, Mega Kabuterimon, can you learn that? You can use that move, can't you? Yeah. I would much rather, I think I'd rather you have this. Well, I don't know. Firewall does a lot more damage. Like just looking at the power and the MP, Firewall is worth more. I think it's better. Spin attack is a lot easier to time pressing the support thing on, though. It sounds like we might want to unlock third order in the near future. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got four TP. I actually... I'm kind of...
kind of wondering if I want to hold on to these four TP, these four training points, and get Zeal Injection, because I think we'll get one more Tamer level up before our Digimon die. I think. So if that's the case, it'd be pretty worth. I do want skill research at some point because post-battle parameter boost is really, really good. Like at, by some point, I mean relatively early. Like of all of the high cost tamer skills, I feel like I want skill research the most. I don't care about skill observation all that much though because I feel like we haven't been having trouble learning moves. Honestly, quick pitch seems like it might be useful. I think I'm gonna hold for... I think I'm gonna hold for zeal injection. Cause I think we uh... I mean, 2,000 Tamer experience is quite a lot, but I think we might be able to get it before the, uh, the thing runs out. I don't have any MP ups. Nope. Before the Digimon die. Assuming Saber Digimon Digivolves. If Saber Digimon dies before Digivolving, then I don't think there's any way we'll get another Tamer level up before then. But as long as Saber Digimon doesn't die, should be fine. Yo, does this vending machine sell MP discs? Yes, it does. What is hot water for? It also sells bandages. Freaking what's his face doesn't sell bandages. Give me, yeah, give me a bandage. I might need one. Give me two, actually, because we're out at the moment. And then give me some of these. Unfortunately, vending machines, you have to buy one at a time, I am now learning. That ought to do it. Wrong button. Ready? Ready? Bum, 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 bum. There we go. I will give you more as needed. Let's get to Talmon. Predicting now this entire stream is chaos, forgetting to give the royal digi jelly. I'll, I'll show you, Tommy B H O Y 95. I'll show you, just you wait. Meteormon, I'll kill you just like I did in the first playthrough. You better watch it. Oh, dude, that's right. We get to unlock the stock market at some point. Man, do I love stocks. Or stonks, as the kids call them nowadays. By the way, this might be a problem. It's working. Might be a little bit of a problem. I did not guard with uh, Saber Jamon fast enough. Yeah, I also hope it helps. This is it. Can't touch this. Right there. Go. Then you hit it again to make them go right back into attacking, I think. Yep. I cannot see what is happening. Help me. Throw, throw, throw. I, I cannot see what is happening. All right. Nope, you're going to lose. Just run. You got injured from that, seriously? Well, well, this is what I bought the bandages for. Oh, did Saber Jamon go down during that? I didn't even notice. I'm starting to remember one of my least favorite things about this game, in that, like, the Digimon are... Like, this is where we're supposed to be in the game right now, to, like, proceed, but then, like, you just run into one Digimon that can do, like, a ton of damage. Because the game doesn't really have a very good, uh... Digimon World Next Order is a good game. I like it. But it definitely, one of the biggest gripes for me about this game is that there's, like, no quantifiable level for your partners. So, like, the only thing that really tells you about how well you think you'll stack up against enemy Digimon is if they are, like, a blue tag or a red tag. But, like... Most often, wherever you're going, the Digimon are gonna be red tagged. Also, like, there's also, like, this kind of white tag. But, like, most often, they're always gonna end up being, like, red tagged. Or else you're gonna end up overleveling yourself to make them not red tagged. And then when you find some red tag Digimon, it's like, oh, actually, they're, like, super easy, barely an inconvenience. 
But then some red tag Digimon are just like, nah, they can one-shot your partner. Like, literally just one-shot you to death. I just really, I don't, I don't know how they would do it. Like, based on the stat system they have going on in this game. But I do really, really wish that, uh... That your partners had some kind of a level. Bum, 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 bum. Same as Digimon Dawn and Dusk. No real progression bars. Levels mean nothing. Stats is the only thing that matters. I don't agree with that necessarily because your partners have levels. The stats are what matter more so than the levels. But if you play Digimon World Dawn and Dusk, you normally don't run into the same problem in my experience that you run into in this game where you can't really tell if the Digimon is like way better than you or not until it's already killing you. Dawn and Dusk progression is pretty good. You're normally, like, if you're playing through the game and you're not, like, avoiding every combat you come into, you're normally, like, at about the level you should be progression-wise. I, like, I very rarely, if ever, remember a time in Digimon World Dawn or Dusk where I was going through an area and I just got, like, absolutely curb stomped out of nowhere. You're back. So tell me, what became of the illegal seed? Sonya told Talmon that the flower bloomed. I see. It grew into a flower. That's what we said. Does this mean that you'll help us now? Otherwise, we're going to drag you back with us if we have to. Ah. <sighs> I really didn't want it to come to this, but I'm going to have to speak with that old fossil. Old fossil? You mean Gijimon? Well, I haven't used this in a while, but here we go. Whoa! What's going on? It's a space portal. If I had been to a place before, I can enter the coordinates and open a door that goes straight there. It takes a lot of strength, though, so I can't do it too often. Where does it go? That stuck-up bearded geezer's place. Stuck-up? He means Gijimon, right? That means it goes to Flotia. Does Toamon hate Gijimon? Well, he seems to like criticizing him. There's no point in overthinking this. Come on, Rika. See you there. What if that just, like, teleports you into death? What if you step through it and then all of a sudden, like, you explode? Like, what then, huh? Back in town. My socks were blown off when I saw, when I saw Talmon was back. Anyway, now we can work on building the machine Dramon detector. I need to talk to you about... Come over to my house for a quick chat. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. It's all about the grind in this game? Yeah, like, that's not what I'm saying, though. I'm not saying that I, like, dislike the way this game works in, like, you have to level up your stats on your Digimon by either fighting other Digimon or by, uh, by training up your Digimon in the training room or anything. I got nothing against that. That's how the game operates. Like, that's fine. What I'm saying is that I don't like that there is very little way to tell if you are high enough on stats to be able to take on, like, the Fugamon we just fought. When we came through here earlier, I didn't fight the Fugamon, but, like, every other Digimon we ran into, like, the, I think we fought the Meteormon, and then, like, we fought the mini-bosses, like, uh, Birdramon and, uh, Marimon and stuff. Didn't have any issues. I come back through this area, stronger than before, and we run into the Fugamon, and the Fugamon does, like, over 2,000 damage in a single hit, which almost one-shots my Digimon. So, like, that's what I'm saying, is I just wish there was a better way of being able to tell, like, other than just, like, oh, that one has a red tag. That means you might be able to beat it, but also it might kill you in one hit. There's really no way to know. I would, uh, much rather if they, uh... It was about to be dialogue. Hey, good work. Yeah, you're welcome. But anyways, I would much rather there be something that tells me, like, your Digimon roughly would be considered like level six right now like if we had to put a number to your digimon they would be about level six that fugamon over there that fugamon's level nine you should not try and fight a level nine fugamon at level six 
Like, as a level 6, you can take on 7s, maybe an 8, if it was just that one 8 you were fighting. Do not try to fight a level 9. You know what I mean? You managed to coax the eccentric Tauman back to the city for the first time in a long while. Also, chat is telling me that some of the problems with Digimon killing you super early is some Digimon in the game just have, like, high-level moves, like tier 6 moves, while instead of, like, tier 1 to 3 moves. That's another thing. It would be nice if the enemy Digimon didn't have, like, a tier 5 move that just does a ton of damage out of nowhere. It, it, early in the game, at least. Obviously, as you go further in the game, the difficulty should increase and the enemy should have stronger moves, but... Running into a Digimon with a random attack that's like, Hey, this Digimon is actually not that strong stat-wise. However, he does have one tier 7 move that if he hits you with, it does 5,000 damage. So watch out for that one move. That's, you know, it's just a little whack is all I'm saying. I'm not saying it like, it ruins the game or anything. I'm just saying it would be, I think that the game, if they make another Digimon World game like Next Order, I think the game would be better off if they had a more reliable level system or they had a, uh, they didn't have early game enemies have moves that do 3,000 damage. This is why people don't like hanging out with you, old man. Huh. I see you're as rude as always. Uh, so, you two are friends? We both like arguing. I guess that's a type of friendship. It's literally the only friendships I have. And what is this about a machine Draymon detector? According to this tamer, things are pretty serious. I've completed the basic logic, and I've just about managed to make a prototype. But if there isn't a large abnormal data well, it can't detect it. Its range is limited to within this city. Thing is, this problem is bigger than just Plutia. I see. The illegal seed bloomed into a flower. Yes, the enforcer must... Must be malfunctioning. This is the worst case scenario. I never imagined things were this bad. However, that doesn't mean it stopped operating entirely. Hey! Could you knock it off? Please stop talking about things without explaining them to us. Oh, I'm sorry. The digital world is equipped with a self-cleaning feature to prevent data corruption. If it was functioning correctly, an unclean object like the illegal seed would not be able to take root. So, you mean the self-cleaning function is broken? That's how it looks. So, if this self-cleaning feature was working, then the machine Draymond wouldn't be attacking? Well, who knows if the machine Draymond were caused by it malfunctioning, or if they caused it to malfunction? There is no way to determine that. Hmm. I had intended to only observe, and not influence. However, it is impossible to meditate on the flow when the world is in such grave danger. So you'll help? It seems I have no choice. I will take over the creation of the Machine Draymond Detector. Wouldn't it be better to fix the self-cleaning function before making a Machine Draymond Detector? Then the Machine Draymond issue would be automatically solved. That'd be impossible. We wouldn't know where to begin. Mm, I see. I thought it was a good idea. And that's what you get for thinking. Hey, can we take a break until the machine is ready? I'm afraid not. I need you to gather residents for the city. We need free manual labor. Restoring the city will mean more operational facilities, which will help us deal with the anomaly. Don't forget to train your partners. There is going to be difficult work ahead once the detector is complete. Okay, Yukimura, let's get training. I like your attitude. Let's go and find Digimon outside of the city who need our help. Okay! Wait a second. I want to give you this. 
I use this Taoistic charm to locate coordinates whenever I open up a space portal gate. As long as you have this charm, I'll be able to open up a gate to your coordinates. Once a gate is open, it won't disappear unless I close it. It takes a lot of energy, so we can't use it too much. Also, you can't open the gate from your end. I think it may prove useful to you, if you use it wisely. You should let Kota and Himari have one too. Don't be stingy. Don't comment on things you don't understand. I only have one Taoistic charm. You must really like this tamer if you're willing to hand over something so precious. Well, this one has two partners and defeated a Mega Machine Draymond. So I am curious. <laughs> I understand. We're counting on you.